Okay, guys. The kid's back, and we have went from the DC Universe. Now we're back. Now we're in the Marvel Universe. And the Marvel character I'm bringing you, as you can see right there, is another favorite of mine. Uh, he is considered to many the occult favorite of the 90s. And when he made his triumphant return back, people were thrilled. And as you can see, that's Chris Powell, a.k.a. Darkhawk. Yeah. Darkhawk loved the character. The moment I saw him, uh, a lot of people said they loved uh, his comic series and I collected them myself. So, it's always good to see a character like this being brought into their own series, their own ongoing series. That's how they're introduced and not into sometimes somebody else's books like many characters have. Uh, Dark Hawk, Chris Powell, or short for Christopher, Chris discovered an amulet that allowed him to turn into this armor-powered hero. Dark Hawk is considered the quintessential version, Marvel version, of the Giver, one of my favorite Japanese heroes. Um, he was created by Tom DeFalco and Mike Manley. Dark Chris Powell was born in Queens, New York, and he uh, he discovered the amulet that gave him his powers while. He and his two younger brothers, uh, while he took his two younger brothers to an old amusement park, he witnessed, Tom witnessed his, I mean Tom, Chris witnessed his dad, who was a cop, taking bribes from a crime lord, and the crime lord's underlings uh, notice Chris and they chase Chris the the kids all of them um, but unfortunately uh, they found found uh, the Powell kids and Chris tried to protect his younger brother his younger his younger siblings to find some kind of weapon uh, but but there were no weapons where they were hiding. Unfortunately, Chris found this strange glowing amulet that uh, that he found. Now you got to remember, Chris is still a, he was like a young teenager still. So he he started out as a young teenage hero. Give you any clue to who I'm who kind of where they got the concept from. Uh. The amulet, actually unknown to him, the amulet was an alien artifact uh, of a forgotten uh, section of the Shi'ar operatives uh, known as the fr uh, how can I say it? Fr fraternity of raptors. That's that's the 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 people that created the the artifact. This amulet transformed Chris into the to Darkhawk. And he used his powers to stop the crime lord's men without really understanding <laughs> what he's been turned into, really. And so that began, you know, Chris's road as Darkhawk. He mainly stayed on Earth, you know, mainly. He would team up a lot with Spider-Man, uh, who pretty much is kind of like Chris, you know, a teenager that acquired his powers by chance and was burdened by family responsibility just like Chris Power was. So him and Spider-Man really became like really buddy buddies during the 90s. And you know, his armor gave him the power of flight and he had like a radar and sonar. Uh he also had like a grapple hook in the form of a like a hawk's talon. Uh, gave him super strength and speed, and it pretty much 
kept him safe. The armor kept him safe. Uh, he would later become... He was a member of the, the New Warriors. He's been a member of the New Warriors. Uh, he has also had some adventures with uh, the, the, the Defenders. Uh, and also, he, he's an Avenger. So, you know, once an Avenger, always an Avenger. Um, but mostly, he's, he's been a loner most of the time. And, when I, and speaking of loners, uh, during 2005, uh, he, uh, Darkhawk, became a character of of the comic the loners because this this is during a time where chris really has anger issues actually so let me throw that out there he has anger issues and he wanted to call it quits and he decided to you know leave try to lead a normal life however he got thrown into the situation with other young heroes you know that were also trying to look to lead a normal life and that's where the loners came in but after that, you know, Darkhawk really kind of disappeared. He became, he was like thrown into the, the void, the, the comic book void, you know. We like these characters, but we don't have anything right now for them. Until he really became like a cosmic character. And thanks to people like Dan uh, Abned and uh, Andy Landing. Lanning that picked him up, picked back the picked the character back up, and brought him back into the Marvel universe per se during the Secret Invasion tie-in arc of Nova, when Nova still had his his uh, ongoing series, and this is really what started uh, Darkhawk's new direction, as well as giving more detail into the amulet, and that's what I'm gonna get into more about. Uh, they kind of retconned. Darkhawk's history by kind of expanding the amulet's origin. Like I said, uh, the amulet was a part of, a, like I said, a new concept called the Fraternity of Raptors. That's what you call the the uh, the armor that Darkhawk wears. Uh, and during, especially during the War of Kings story arc, which led to the death of Lalandra, uh, which actually Darkhawk was who is responsible for his her death actually uh not by his will though and i'm i'm going to explain more about that we find out later that dark hawk uh is not the only person that is that wields that armor we find out later on another character another character that wields the armor actually comes to see uh, Chris. This character is known as Talon. And Talon pretty much has armor similar to, to Chris's. And he tries to explain to him what he is and things like that. Uh, tells him the story of like, you know, what we are, you know, what, what the armor is, where it came from, things like that. Uh, like I said, the fraternity of Raptors. Uh, uh, and this was still when Chris was still trying to be a family person, you know, take care of his family, his mom and his younger siblings. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, uh, this called for some. Chris wanted to know the truth. He wanted to know the truth about the armor and things like that. So Chris left with Talon outer space. This which gives him his his. His cosmic character, where he became more into the role. However, you know, in space, you know, Talon would explain where the Darkhawk armor, the or the the Raptor armor was created before the rest of the universe had ever heard of humans. Basically, nobody knew about this armor was created before. You know, like I said, nobody even heard about humans, and. It was never meant to. The armor was never meant to be used by humans. So it really got more into the dark, the 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 armor's roots. However, 
Talon was not who he said he was. He betrayed Chris. And he, he fought Chris. What he wanted to do was... He wanted to awaken the raptor consciousness inside the armor that was inside the armor and use Chris's body as a host uh, and it worked for a while uh, that persona that came out of him was known as Razor and they they were really like assassins actually and these two characters pretty much completed missions like they would they would kill like a lot of people uh during their time chris would struggle to like gain dominance over but it wasn't helping uh they killed uh people like catastrophus and and took the cosmic control rod and gave it to blastar in order to I think, if I remember, form an alliance with somebody. Um, later on, uh, later on during the whole War of Kings, uh, Talon met with Emperor Vulcan, uh, who was leading. You know the he led the the Shi'ar Empire. That Vulcan is the third Summers Brothers. For all those that don't know. Uh, and Vulcan ordered Talon and Razor to eliminate Lalandra, and that's what they did. They, Razor, in Chris's body, killed Lalandra, assassinated her. And this, finally, when he killed Lalandra, Chris was still fighting Talon Razor inside of his mind and he finally was able to gain control of his body again and unfortunately he didn't know what happened He's he sees Landra's body over her and all he can see is a grief stricken gladiator and Havoc coming at him with vengeance on their eyes and Chris became pretty much the galaxy's most wanted um in the universe and he was able to flee get free of them you know but it it took his uh it took everything he had to get managed to get out of you know gladiator havoc marvel girl polaris polaris you know grasp and then he finally caught back up with raise uh talon and Chris and them battle, and Chris was able to beat Talon. He's all he was also able to remove the amulet from him, and that became Chris's new gold was to remove the amulets from everybody who gained one. That is his new mission, uh, because new amulets started to appear later on, and because Chris doesn't want anybody to go through that burden again. And that's pretty much what he does now. Uh, sure, his best friend, one of his best friends, Nova, had the benefit of doubt. He knew Chris did not, was not in sound mind when that happened. Uh, but Darkhawk is a very cool character. And that's just a little bit of what, what's going on with Darkhawk. I don't mean to rant, guys, but for those who don't read Darkhawk or want to know what's going on with Darkhawk, I just gave it to you. Uh... That's what's going on with Darkhawk. Darkhawk is a very cool character. Uh, I still love him uh, to this day. Uh, he, he has evolved over time from his days back in the 90s to being this pretty angry kid to being now this true-blooded cosmic hero now. You know, Though he's on the run, he's still a hero at heart. Uh, and his armor is just wonderful. Uh, if you don't know, research him yourself. And, you know, that's just a little bit of who Darkhawk is. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this, guys, once again. 
another ed- edition of characters I, who I like and why. And uh, this is Mom Vernon Kid saying take care. See you later.